Dear student friends, welcome to the problem solving session on Fourier cosine and sine transform part 3. Those who don't see the part 1 video as well as part 2 video, go to the playlist, watch both videos and come back here for the continuation. In first video, we are dealing with Fourier cosine transform of e power minus ax and Fourier sine transform of e power minus ax. In the second video, we are dealing with integral 0 to infinity x square dx divided by x square plus a square x square plus b square etc. I gave the clue if the numerator is with variable then use Fourier sine transform. If the numerator is simply dx divided by x square plus a square into x square plus b square, then use Fourier cosine trend. So, these are all the quick recap for video 1 and 2. Now, let us go to the third part of this problem solving on Fourier cosine and sine transform. So, in this video, we are going to deal an interesting problem. Find the Fourier cosine transform of e power minus ax by x. Similarly, for sine transform of e power minus ax by x. The problem given to us is to find the Fourier cosine transform of e power minus ax by x. And hence, we have to find this e power minus ax minus e power minus bx by x. Okay, let us explore the problem. It is openly given to us Fourier cosine transform. So, let us write the Fourier cosine transform formula and substitute the function f of x. Now, what is the big trouble here? We don't have any formula to solve this problem because all the three like e power minus ax, 1 by x, cos sx all are non-diminishing function. We cannot apply Bernoulli formula. My denominator x is disturbing me. If the problem is simply integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax cos sx dx, then I can immediately write this as a by s square plus a square. But now this denominator x is disturbing me. Let us think how to tackle this problem. This problem consists of two variables. One is s, the other one is x. We are integrating with respect to x. Therefore, we don't want to worry about the variable s. This is the idea. What I am going to do, I am going to differentiate both sides with respect to s. When I differentiate this cos sx, I will be getting minus sin sx since with respect to s, I will be getting 1x here. So, this x will get cancelled with this x. The problem is going to be very simple. Therefore, now we are going to differentiate both sides with respect to s. In the left hand side, we have only s. But in the right hand side, we have two variables. As I said, x and s. So, what we have to do, when you take this d by ds, you have to take it as partial differentiation. Now, when I differentiate partially with respect to s, e power minus ax, 1 by x, both are constants. So, differentiation of cos sx, as I said, it is going to be minus x into sin sx. Now, this x and x will get cancelled and my problem will become simply 0 to infinity e power minus ax sin sx dx. And we know the answer immediately. Now, we have minus square root of 2 by pi and the solution for this is s divided by s square plus a square. Therefore, therefore, differentiation of fc of s with respect to s is my answer. But I don't want this. I want fc of s. So, integrating both sides with respect to s, I will achieve the answer. Now, left hand side, I will get fc of s. Do you remember a classical formula which we used in our school days. My denominator is f of x, numerator is f dash of x dx. Then my answer is log f of x plus c. See here, my denominator is a square plus a square. When I differentiate, I will be getting 2s. But I have only s. 2 is missing. So, I can multiply and divide by 2. Then I can apply this formula. Now, my answer is going to be minus 1 by root 2 pi. Integration of this is log s square plus a square. So, we found the first part of the problem. Now, we have to find the second part. 
that is fc of e power minus ax minus e power minus bx by x for this we need fc of e power minus bx don't waste your time by deriving from here i can directly write this now we have both let us find the fourier cosine transform of this so fourier cosine transform satisfies the linear property i can split this as two functions fc of e power minus ax by x minus fc of e power minus bx by x when i substitute the value minus into minus here it will become plus now i will take this 1 by square root of 2 pi in common will be getting log s square plus b square minus log s square plus a square we know log a minus log b is log a by b this is my final answer hope you understand next in the same way instead of cos we have sin so 80% of the problem is going to be the same only the integration is going to differ now write the formula as usual all the three data are non diminishing i want to eliminate x so i am going to differentiate both sides with respect to yes when you go for the right hand side it will become partial differentiation now differentiation of sin sx is going to be cos sx into x now this x and x will get cancel will be having the result and we know the answer for this it's simply a by s square plus a square now i want fs of s so integrating both sides will be getting fs of s now we have to integrate this term do you remember students this is also very famous formula when you are in school days it is going to be 1 by a tan inverse of x by a so a is my constant s is my variable the answer is going to be 1 by a tan inverse of s by a a a get cancel will be getting the answer square root of 2 by pi tan inverse of s by a now in the similar way i can write for e power minus bx and now finally i want to find fs of e power minus ax minus e power minus bx by x now splitting this by linear property and substituting the values and taking square root of 2 by pi in common we get the solution tan inverse of s by a minus tan inverse of s by b hope you understand the problem okay next we are going to see an interesting example find the fourier cosine transform of 1 by x square plus a square and similarly find the fourier sine transform of x by x square plus a square we don't know how to solve this if we directly substitute this we cannot solve because the function is non diminishing so let us think what to do we have the only one savior f of x equal to e power minus a x here this part looks like a by a s square plus a square this part look like s by s square plus a square so let us assume the function f of x fourier cosine transform now we get the answer fc of s square root of 2 by pi a by s square plus a square good now we have two options either i have to apply partial identity or i have to apply inverse fourier cosine transform so i can go for inverse fourier cosine transform because the power is 1 now write the inverse fourier cosine transform formula and substitute fc of s value now the trick begins listen carefully fourier cosine transform formula is square root of 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity f of x cos sx dx but in the inverse we have ds here now i will push this square root of 2 by pi to the other side and also the a because my question is 1 by x square plus a square now what to do i can't solve the problem just compare your fourier cosine transform formula with what we have integral 0 to infinity f of x cos sx dx now if i put s equal to x x equal to s my problem will convert like this right hand side will become 1 by a square root of pi by 2 e power minus as now see this formula it is looking like our fc of s square root of 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity f of x cos sx dx if it is f of x i will write this as fc of s instead of f of x if i have 1 by x square plus a square then i can write this as fc of 1 by x square plus a square now on the right hand side the database is 1 by a square root of pi by 2 e power minus as this is my answer similarly we can solve the second problem also thanks for watching 
subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye